Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome to Energy Gal Meditations. My name is Lisa, and I thought I would hop on just to give you just a little um, hmm, insight as to what possibly could be happening in your world. You know, the energies are shifting so quickly and so radically lately that it can leave us a little like, whew, <laughs> feeling a little uh, wild and crazy and unbalanced and overwhelmed. And so just make sure that you are grounding. That's going to be so important. Um, things like putting your feet in the grass, drinking lots of water, eating a lot of vegetables. Um, gosh, what are the breathing exercises? Uh, doing some stillness, anything that kind of gets you down into your body, okay? You can get massages, you can go for walks or hikes in the woods, um, taking an, Epi an Epsom salt bath, things that get you in your body. That's what grounds you. It brings your energies from here or all over the place, pulls them all into your physical form, okay, into your body. And then I wanted to give you just a little bit of advice because I do think that things are shifting so radically. And when you shift, your reality shifts. When you change your frequency and when you change your mind, inevitably the world around you also changes. And so what I've been advising people is to, to do pretend like you are someone who has just arrived here on planet earth for the very first time and you're looking at your coffee cup and you're drinking coffee and you are um looking at your dog and you are in relationship with other people for the very first time you're in the car and you're off to walmart as if for the first time ever approach everything with a brand new everything kind of way don't bring the narrative from yesterday into today. Don't bring the story that you had yesterday, that's my dog Gia, that you had yesterday into this moment because it's going to influence the way that you are seeing everything out in the world. Let me give you an example. So uh, there was a person in my life who I really struggled in relationship with for many, many years, and we hadn't seen each other in quite a while. And there came a time when she and I were going to be at the same place at the same time. And I thought there are different ways that I can approach this. I can assume that she hasn't changed, and I can bring the story from those couple of years ago into the reunion that we're going to have, and then I will see her the same way because that's what I'm looking for. That's the story I've created. She's this, 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 and that. I know because that's the way she was. Unfortunately, that doesn't leave us any room for that other person having had a radical shift or you yourself having had a radical shift and so that everything is different. So what I decided I was going to do is come in to the family reunion, seeing her as if I'm seeing her for the very first time. And I, I told myself, I'm gonna let her show me who she is now because she may have had this big revelation she may have had a big change and i'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt by not bringing yesterday's story in and i'm going to see as if something brand new i've never seen this before show me what you got and then from there i wasn't necessarily reacting i was in a place of response to what it is that she was showing me it was a very empowering position to be in and I can tell you from that, there was such a softening in my heart and such a, um, and allowing her to be where she is that I truly believe that I saw her differently as if for the very first time there were facets of her that I had never noticed before. I thought, well, either they weren't there or I just never noticed them because I was too busy looking at the other stuff. So um, anyway, that would be my advice. It, it, that would be my advice. Come into this now moment and approach it as if you've never seen it before, as if you are a brand new baby and you don't even know what a spoon is. You pick it up and you think, hmm, okay, so let me not just assume that I know how to use this. You know, it's that kind of newness to everything because things are shifting so quickly. And if you bring yesterday's narrative into this moment, you will create the same exact story going forward. Okay. So dropping yesterday's narrative, 
coming into this now moment and letting the moment unpack itself to you and show you what it is that it wants to show you without you saying, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. So, all right. That's what I have to say. I hope you're having a peaceful week. I hope you go into having a peaceful weekend. And if I can be of assistance to you on your uh, journey of ascending, of awakening, of healing, of going inward, of discovering, remembering, and being who you are, let me know. I've got links below where you can contact me. And in the meantime, know that I'm holding space for you and I wish you so much peace. Bye, everybody. Take care.